In this video, we're going to look at the Options menu, which is found here under the Tools drop-down menu, where it says Options. Now, I'll go through the different tabs here and explain most of the things. I don't even think I could claim to say that I know every single detail about all of these options, but most of them are pretty self-explanatory, and they're just your ability to further customize your software. Um, so, of course, you can choose your language. Um, the number of undo levels that you'd like to have, sort of how much it remembers what you've done. Uh, measurement system, metric or imperial, auto backup steps. Okay, the next tab over is called tools. And this is about your selection tools. And so you can make your lasso your default selection tool if you like it better. Allow polygon selection with lasso. Um, Sequence manager, focus on item on hover. So these are things that you can change on click or on hover or never. Focus on item. So in sequence manager, remember the little menu that's on the side? If I hover over it, should it focus on the item? Never or on hover or on click. So it's just your ability to customize the way it works. The monitor adjustment. This says what size is your monitor and tell if you measure the actual visual area, it'll make sure that you have an accurate one to one zoom. When you when you choose 100%, it'll literally be on your screen sort of as close as possible to the realistic 100% size. The view drop down or the view tab. Here it talks about icon sizes. So for your icons, you can choose between large and small. With my eyes, I like to choose the large ones. Um, text. Do you want to show text labels, selective text on right, or no text labels? And for lists, um, just basically sizes and the size of your other icons. And now this is your 3D properties, and this one is a little bit less knowledgeable to me. I'm, I've, it's always just installed and worked, and I've never had to try and customize or worry about any of these things. So I don't claim to know much about the 3D properties. We'd have to get tech support to get involved if there was a question on why to change them. Um, colors and sizes is certainly one that I like to look at. This is how you can choose, and I've looked at a few of these throughout the training already, like the grid colors and the guideline colors, but you can choose the colors of, for example, when you select, when you use your rectangle selection tool and you have an object selected, it highlights it, and you can choose the colors that it highlights it in. So right now on light backgrounds, I'm getting a blue outline, but if you'd rather have it be pink or red, you can choose that. Same thing. What color should a focused shape be? And we just talked about focusing when you hover using your sequence manager. And for selected shapes, what color should the selections be? And directions and divides, these are things that have to do with the artistic suite version of the, you know, the full version of creative drawing software. And I'll be doing um, videos specifically about directions and divide. But this is how you can change the color of all of the different items in your software. So we also have a printing tab and in the printing tab you have the ability to choose font and you can sort of set up a dots per inch so how much resolution do you want to print with and you can even change the name so right now it says print out by creative drawings but I could make it say print out by Trevor or sunset stitches or whatever you wanted to add in there um, and then your size your default size for your printing text. And the last one is the palette order. And I guess this would be our ability to um, choose whether or not all of the color palettes are available. So if you don't want to have to choose from a large list and you know that you just want a couple different lists, you could uncheck some of these. Okay, so that's the options box and the different tabs that are available to further customize your creative drawing software.